Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. In today's video, I thought we'd play with some new higher end makeup and we would chat. We'll do this like get ready with me chatty style because I have some big news that I've been dying to share with you guys. I have a bunch of stuff that I bought in what the Sephora spring sale that's been laying around here that I haven't tried. Um, some other things that I got when I was shopping at Nordstrom. I popped into Blue Mercury. Do you guys have one of those stores near you? So I stopped in there and I got an eyeshadow palette from a brand I had never heard of, um, Luna Naster. So anyway, just some interesting new products that I wanted to try out. Thought I would pop them all into one video and that we would just chat about life and what's been happening. So hope you guys are all well. Let's get started with the makeup. So the first thing that I want to put on is from Tula. I've been really interested in Tula skincare. They have a face filter blurring and moisturizing primer. So that sounds awesome. And then the other thing is this rose glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm and you can put this on underneath your concealer and then over your concealer to refresh it during the day and i was like "Ooh, that sounds awesome here's the tula primer let's go ahead and start with this i'm only going to do half my face because you know when i'm trying a new foundation i only like to prime half my face to see how it does without the primer oh, why won't this come out <laughs> Uh, of course, the lawnmower men show up at the exact moment that I start filming. Oh, filming a video. Oh, does this need to be shaken? Um, okay, so some finally came out. That's what it looks like. Let me just do another squeeze after I've shaken it up. Yeah. Okay, so it's kind of a runny liquid, kind of a pinky color. Let me go ahead and put it over here. So this isn't really thick like I was expecting from a primer, especially one that promises to be blurring and smoothing. I kind of always think of them as being thicker, but anyway, we'll give it a try and see how this goes. So, um, you guys, my big news. <sighs> Should I make you wait till the end of the video to tell you what it is? No, I want to talk about it throughout the whole video. The big news is that I'm moving. I sold my house. Um, this has actually been a project that has been in the works for months and months and months uh, because I bought a house last fall and it needed quite a bit of renovation not renovation but just like updating you know everything was so dated so i've been redoing that very slowly over the winter my plan was to wait till the spring to sell my house and then move down there so i'm leaving massachusetts which is very sad so this is the tula rose glow and get it cooling and brightening eye balm let me go ahead and rub a little bit of that under my eyes and see if it cools and brightens. I'm not sure that did anything, but we'll just do it under the one eye to see later on if it has. I have been all over the Urban Decay eyelid primer since my Nordstrom video trying all top rated Nordstrom makeup. So I'm going to just use this because it is so good. I got to say my other eyelid primers that I love are super grippy. With this I get a better blend so I like this a lot better now because I feel like my eyeshadow is coming out softer and better blended. Let's go in with Dior Forever Natural Nude. Let me bring you in a little closer. Let me pin my hair back a little bit. Oh my gosh getting a house ready to sell after you've been in it for 25 years is crazy. I mean especially since it's just me like alone here you know. I got divorced. The kids have moved on with their lives and so it's just me going through the possessions of four people and this big house which you know the house is just way too big for me the yard is too big for me I, it's on an acre of land you know and i've always been a huge gardener um, which reminds me you guys have been asking for a garden tour so i recorded a garden tour i also recorded a house tour so i'll show you this house and these gardens and then I'll move and I'll show you my new house. So just getting this house ready has been just a, the job of the century for me and it's taken so much time just to get it ready first for like the um, photographers to come in. Wow this is really a lot of fragrance in this. You know this is what I don't really like about high-end makeup. I'm just this is going to be so just stream of consciousness this video so I hope you don't mind. Anyway um, I'm going to use my BK Beauty 101 brush to apply this. This is the best foundation brush. It's so soft. It's so great. It washes up so well but the main part about it is that it puts on your makeup so beautifully especially if you have like little you know 
fine lines and wrinkles, nooks and crannies in your skin. Wow, does that look pretty? Look at that color match. Okay, I knew it was gonna be a good color match because this is the same shade I wear in the under eye concealer, but this is really pretty. So here's the no foundation side of my face and here's the foundation side. It's very light looking and really nice. Um, so what was I talking about before? Can I even remember something about selling the house and, oh, just 25 years of stuff. Oh my gosh, you guys, if you're thinking of selling your house anytime in the near future, like in the next five years, start going through your stuff now. <laughs> the main thing to start going through is the paint that you've accumulated in the basement because you can't dump it in your yard. <sighs> people used to do that you can't just throw it out you have to dry it up first and then you have to put the dried up cans in your trash so you know like try to get rid of two cans a week until you're you've gotten rid of all the paint that you want to get rid of i probably have oh my gosh 50 cans of paint in my basement and um you use kitty litter to dry them up so i've bought like two 30 pound bags of kitty litter at walmart they have the best price four dollars a bag and um, you know you have to open every can of paint pour in the kitty litter stir it up to get it into the bottom then let it sit for a day until it hardens then put it in your trash <laughs> I probably put I don't know 20 cans in my trash this week <laughs> and I'm trying to lug that trash barrel out to the street I mean it has wheels but it weighed like 200 pounds <laughs> and I'm like Rrr trying to get this trash barrel out to the street and it's all cans and in the meantime I have a lot of trash from inside the house that I can't fit in my trash barrel because it's full of uh, hardened paint so it's it's crazy but if you're thinking of doing it start clearing out now because I just can't even believe the stuff that I have packed into cabinets just you know from raising kids toys and games and uh, the problem is that nothing has any value anymore. Nobody wants your stuff. Nobody wants your old furniture. Let's move on with the makeup. I'm using Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. This is in the shade. Why do they make everything so hard to read? I'll have to read it later and put it in the uh, info box below the video. I'm just going to put that on with my finger. Um, so anyway, yeah, just trying to clear everything out of here, get everything organized just to do the open house to have them come and take the photos. <laughs> that was like three weeks of hard labor. I would recommend hiring a cleaning service to come and you know, wash down all your baseboards and wash all your window sills and you know, maybe even a handyman to repaint everything. I did it all myself because <laughs> I always think like, oh, I'm gonna do the better job than anyone else. So anyway, just doing all that kind of stuff, it just is so much work getting your house ready to sell. It's kind of crazy. So I've been doing that and I've been trying to, of course, stay regular with my videos. So that's why I disappeared for a week in May and didn't put up any videos was because I was so behind the eight ball. I think that was a weekend that I had the open house and, you know, just trying to get everything clean. And then plus the realtor wants you to make everything look really neat. So you have to get all your tchotchkes and all your bric-a-brac and you have to put it somewhere. So I had to pack all that up. So like my garage has 200 boxes in it already just of the stuff that I had to clear off to, um, you know, do the open house. So it is a lot. So anyway, I think that looks nice from a distance. It's very luminous. And of course doing all this stuff, I've been getting to bed so late. So my eyes are puffy. I don't have a new setting powder to use, so I'm going to use the Honest Beauty. This has been my favorite for a bit. I like my under eyes to stay matte, and here's why. When my under eye is mattified, it makes that big, like, puffy bag <laughs> go away. Like, I don't understand luminous concealer. I just don't get it. Like, I feel like it makes everything under there just come forward and look bigger so i feel like you have to make a choice between your wrinkles and your puffiness you know my wrinkles are really only visible when i smile but my puffiness is visible all the time so i choose to disguise the puffiness a little bit more than the wrinkles uh you know personal preference like makeup is makeup is just a lot of personal preference and i am going to powder this down this foundation is just a little bit too luminous for me but i do think it's a pretty foundation i think the coverage is really nice so, so far so good on that. We'll see how it wears throughout the day. So for the blush, I wanted to go ahead and use this Color Science Sun Forgettable Stick Blush and Lip. 
thing. I got this in the color blush. Now there is like a berry color that is probably better for the lips, but I was into this one for more of the color of the blush. And I love it that it's an SPF 50 that you can just apply. I mean, obviously you're touching up your sunscreen right here. It's nice that it has it in it if you're gonna to touch up throughout the day. You know, obviously you can't smear it all over your whole face but it's not greasy feeling. It's really actually very, very nice feeling. Let me go ahead and put it on my lips. But I love it that it's a two in one and where you really do need SPF coverage is on your lips. So that's a really nice SPF 50 like lip gloss. I like that, that's really pretty. All right, let's go in with this Luna and Aster eyeshadow palette. It is called Destination Nudes. All right, so first I'm gonna use my BK206, and I think I'm gonna go with more of a neutral brown today than a mauve, just because I'm wearing this like hot pink and orange um, kimono, which is super pretty. I'll have to show it to you at the end of the video. Mm. Well, it seems like these are pretty like powdery. It's kicking up a little bit of powder there. Has anyone ever used this brand, Luna and Aster? They had a whole makeup line in Blue Mercury. What else was I saying about the house? Oh, so when I move, I might disappear again. I might take that week off. I'm not sure. I'm gonna try to record videos, but it's hard to pre-record a lot of videos just because my videos tend to be so information intensive that if I'm gonna pre-record, that means I have to do all the research and everything else and all the filming of all the inserts and all the befores and afters, like before, which is difficult to do. Um, so I might just do a bunch of like, sit down and try makeup or you know vlog videos or I could vlog parts of the move let me know if you're interested in vlogging more of the move like I am in packing phase now I've got a few weeks to go before the movers actually come and you know haul me down there so the good news is that it is closer to my family I have friends there still so it feels very comforting of a move it doesn't feel really scary of a move which originally I was thinking of just moving to Florida because I'm just so done with New England winters. Oh, now I'm using, whoopsie, forgot to mention this. Now I'm using my BK202 and going into this color right here, which is very, very pretty and not, not too, too dark. I'm really kind of digging this color. I'm just gonna put a little bit more, build that up a bit, put it deep in the crease. Okay. And then I'm gonna use the BK201 brush to blend that, making it nice and soft. So yeah, so it doesn't feel like a scary move, but I was thinking of moving to Florida all year, but then I was like, huh, do I really like, that's a drastic move for me. I know a couple people in Florida and my folks are down there, you know, for a few months out of the year, but um, you know, I know far more people in Connecticut because that's where I grew up. And so I thought, well, let me just make a baby step south and then maybe I'll start doing winters in Florida. You know, who knows? I mean, the world is my oyster, right? I'm not tied down. My kids haven't decided where they wanna be, so I might as well just do whatever. As long as I can bring my poochies with me, I'm good. Let's see, let's use the BK204 brush and this really dark, dark brown. I like these browns that they're not too warm. They're you know, nice and cool gray browns. So I'm just gonna use this tiny little smudger brush and just smudge a little bit of this dark brown at the edge of my lashes. And that's gonna almost be like my upper liner. And then I'm just gonna bring it up at the outer corner, almost like a little wing. Cause you know, I like the outer corner to be like a little bit of an upturn so that it helps to make my eyes look a little more awake and everything. Especially, like I said, getting to bed at midnight. Oh my gosh, so much to do. So because I'm renovating down there or updating down there, it's been <laughs> so much extra time just, you know, picking everything out. I mean, it's fun and exciting, but you have to pick everything because I pretty much gutted the kitchen. I had to take a wall down, gutted the bathrooms, you know, so I'm picking out tile, faucets, countertops, vanities, cabinets, drawer pulls. Uh, it's just so much. After I finish working for the day, I pretty much get on my computer and start looking for, you know, stuff to outfit that place with. And I think I'll do a little bit below. Let's just smudge a little bit below. I don't want to do too much. Ah. You know, I was going for an everyday look. <laughs> we'll see what happens with it. 
All right, let me go back in with the BK201. Um, but I'm so excited about it because it's so pretty. Oh my gosh, you guys. My house here, it's an antique. It's almost 200 years old. Um, it was built in 1831. The rooms are small, but it has so much charm and so much character. And you know, the old houses, how wonderful they are. It's been such a wonderful house. Great place to raise my kids and everything. It's gonna be so sad to leave it. Um, but my new house I'm so excited about because it's open and it's modern and it's just one big space and it has a big like filming studio space so that's going to be awesome so I won't be in such a small space like I am here. Um, I'll be able to sit in front of a window and have natural light and it will just be, I'm hoping that everything will be so much easier and so much more seamless and I'll get to do more content. And next I'm going to go in with the Morphe M709 brush. Just bought this one yesterday because I needed just a small flat shader to do um, shimmer shadows with. And I think that these shimmer shadows, ooh, this one's darkish. They're so pretty. Oh my goodness. So I'm going to go in with this guy down here at the outer corner. I'm just going to pick a little bit of that up in this nice flat brush. And I feel like flat brushes are really the best for shimmers. And I'm just going to put that kind of above that little wedge just to kind of darken out that whole like outer third of the movable lid. So anyway, yes, very excited, but very difficult um, packing up this house. So the last couple of weeks I've been in serious packing mode and, you know, like I said, packing up 25 years of stuff, oh, getting rid of 25 years of stuff. <laughs> this is ridiculous. <laughs> it's a mountain of stuff and it's overwhelming. Okay, so now I'm using this more like peachy gold one. I was thinking of using this one up here, but I guess I changed my mind halfway through. So I'm gonna use the peachy gold one and put it more at the inner corner. Ooh, that is so pretty. This is a nice payout on the shimmers. And I'm just gonna kind of smudge them together here. Yeah, I like this eye look. Okay, that's done. What else do we have to put on? Let's go with this Too Faced Killer Liner. I got it in this gray color. It's almost like a bluish gray. And I'm gonna tight line my uppers. I have the best friends. They've all been coming and like staying a weekend and helping me box stuff. And there was a weekend about two months ago when my daughters came and we got a dumpster and we filled the dumpster. That was a great purge. If you're getting a dumpster, always go bigger because you'll be shocked how quickly a small one gets filled. Of course, I went for the smallest one. I could have filled two of them. Oh, that looks nice. So far, so good on this. We'll see if it's transfer proof and waterproof. I think I'm going to do the top liner too with this and just to see, you know, let's really put it to the test. So let's do the Ilia Mascara. This is their Limitless Lash Mascara. So. I'm moving to a condo complex, which has never been my cup of tea, but I'll tell you what, somebody else is going to plow my snow, cut my grass, sprinkle my lawn, <laughs> do all that stuff that, you know, I've been doing myself here. Like when it snows here, my friend's husband has a plow and he'll come over and plow my driveway. My driveway is enormous. But if it's under like six inches, I would go out and run the snowblower. And I've been doing that for three years. And oh my God, that's why I was like, I'm moving to Florida. I've had enough of this. The first time though was such a comedy of errors. I didn't realize how long the gas would last. And so it ran out of gas. <laughs> like it started going ring, ring. And I was like, uh oh, this isn't good. Of course, I was way down at the far end of the driveway. So like I put it in high gear and I start like hightailing it back to the garage and rah, it poops out right like literally 15 feet from the garage door. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> of course, you couldn't make it all the way back. So, um, you know, I had to run an extension cord out to it because I'm not strong enough to pull the rip cord, you know, like on a lawnmower, how you pull that thing. Anyway, it does have a nice electric start. So had to run an extension cord out to it. Good thing there was gas in one of the gas cans in the garage. <laughs> but, um, oh my gosh, you should see me out there running this thing. I mean, it's a big machine. Like it, it drives itself, but you have to hold the throttle and the, the thing that churns and shoots the snow. You have to hold them both at the same time. So by the time I'm done out there, it's like takes an hour and a half to do my driveway. Oh my God, the carpal tunnel. <gasps> 
my wrists were killing me. Oh, this really is a uh, stream of consciousness, is it not? So anyway, so happy that I will not have to even shovel snow anymore. They shovel my front walk. Um, it doesn't really snow as much down in Connecticut as it does up here in Massachusetts, so that will be nice. Um, so I'm really looking forward to it. I mean, it's going to be weird. It's going to be sad. The saddest part is that my oldest daughter is still here in Boston. We see each other more frequently now that she's 20 minutes away. You know, I can just drive in and visit her or whatever, or if she needs something, I'm right here. Um, but my other daughter is down in Maryland and she seems to be staying down there. Sorry about the leaf blower. Um, and so I'll be two, two and a half hours closer to her. So, you know, whatever, hopefully they'll both come to visit and life will be good there. So there will be coming up in the next month or so a drastic change in scenery. Um, hopefully I can unpack in my new space. It might be a little um, awkward and chunky for a couple of weeks until I get the lighting set. It's, you know, get carpets. I'm sure it's going to be echoey, but hopefully you guys will bear with me through this. Uh, that's what's been happening in my life. It has been all encompassing and I'm so exhausted and <laughs> I just feel like I could use a vacation and about a month's worth of sleep after this thing is over. Still have not ordered any furniture so I'm going to be like living in an empty house. <laughs> it's quite the work in progress like trying to update a house during COVID has been hard because everything is so delayed. Um, with shipping, things are like back ordered for months and months and months. You can't get them, so the construction's been super slow. But anyway, um, it's been a really fun and exciting project, and I can't wait to share it with you and share, you know, just what I've been up to behind the scenes. How do we think the makeup looks? I think it looks really pretty. So here's the makeup of clothes, the Dior foundation. I think it looks nice. And I feel like there's a little bit of settling right in here. And there is a little bit of settling up here in the forehead wrinkles. But the eyeshadow I think is so pretty. And the one thing that I'm super unhappy with is the Ilia concealer. I don't like how that looks at all. It looks dry, it looks cracked, and it's not giving me any coverage. So, like what the heck. So the primer was on this side. Of course I did powder this area so that looks nice and smooth. But where there isn't powder I feel like it looks about the same as this side. So I don't really think it's doing anything. I put it down here and not here, and I don't really think it's making that look blurred or anything. And I put it up here. I'd say it looks about the same on both sides, so I'm gonna go for not much going on with the blurring with the Tula. That's the makeup roundup. I'll be back in four hours and let me show you what I'm wearing. I'm just wearing this beautiful little um, lightweight kimono and my favorite white t-shirt and my favorite like spring summer jeans. These are Levi's, they're a straight leg and I have on my bionic flip flops here. All right, hey you guys, I'm back for the eight hour check-in on the makeup and I think from a distance, do I always say this? It looks just fine. From up close, it's probably not my favorite entire look, but I gotta say that given the two Zoom calls today, I felt, you know, pretty confident on them that my makeup looked good. And the foundation is really pretty good as far as wear for eight hours. I feel like it's still in place on my nose and on my chin. It really isn't worn off. Um, so it looks good from a distance. It hasn't gotten like super shiny down my T-zone or anything. We put on this SPF blush. It's still in place, so that's good. Pretty disappointed in both the Tula products. I think the eyeshadow looks nice. I think, you know, everything looks nice. Up close, I am getting a little bit of smudging down here under my eyes. Not a ton, but a little bit. I also have some flakes from the mascara. Let me come in close. We'll take a look around my face. I'm not really finding the Tula to be hydrating since it looks kind of dry and crusty on this side, and it doesn't look dry and crusty on this side. I don't think there's a wear difference between this side and this side, so it didn't make the makeup like wear any longer. So, you know, I feel like this side is a little bit more worn off and a little more slidey aroundy looking. I don't know if you can see the flakes, if it can focus enough, but I do have some flakes, a little dribble there, and you can see that the eyeliner is worn off on my eyelids. Feels really nice on the lips, not sticky, not overly shiny. Love the color. I think I'm gonna have to buy the berry one too, because that one looks so pretty. So this was a real winner from the video. This is a pretty palette. 
you know, it was easy to work with. It's nice and creamy. I really didn't get too much fallout from it. Um, the colors are great. I really like the Dior Forever foundation. I think it really is very, very pretty, very skin-like, very natural looking. Um, I feel like where I powdered it, the powder did kind of wear off during the day and it didn't get super shiny in my T-zone. So I think this is a real winner. I think I'm gonna do a whole foundation Friday on this one maybe. The Ilia concealer, I was not impressed with this. The Ilia mascara, Mm, it's pretty good. I mean, my lashes look very pretty, very long, very lush, but I am getting a little bit of fallout, you know, flaking from it. Did not love either of the Tula products. And of course, the other products that I always love are the BK Beauty brushes. These are always a success, always a hit. So if you need any BK Beauty brushes, I always have a 10% off discount code with them. It's Angie 10. Definitely, if you need a great foundation brush, pick up the 101. Yeah, so that's it for today's um, chatty try on makeup video. Most of the makeup was kind of a bust, but at least I got to tell you guys my big news about the move and I am so psyched. I can't wait to be down there. I think it's gonna be sad. Um, you know, I think the last time that I lock up here and drive away from this house, Oh, it's gonna break my heart. I love this house. It is such a great house. So anyway, uh, let me know if you want me to vlog some of the move. I can do that. So I hope you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you like this style of video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And thanks always for your time. And I will see you in the next video. Take care, everybody. Bye-bye.